Okay guys, so today we're going to take a look at four different headsets from Bang & Olufsen. I have been using all of these, so I'm going to share my honest opinion on all of the four headsets. Um, yeah, so we are going to talk about three wireless headsets and one that is wired. The first headset we are going to take a look at is the H6 headset. I have used these for like I think five, seven years or something. And they are probably the cheapest headset of the over ear Bang & Olufsen headsets you can buy. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but if you're looking for a headset that has a good price and you don't really care much about wireless features, maybe this is for you. I really like the design of these. The cable can be connected to either of the sides on your preference. I have later on upgraded these with a an audio jack that has a microphone right here so I could use these <clears throat> use these for gaming as well as music and communicating over the phone. And yeah, stepping a little bit up in price there's the h9i headset that i started using as the first wireless bang and olufsen headset of mine and again great design active noise cancellation bluetooth headphone jack, USB and going a little bit upwards in price we have the Beoplay Portal which is a gaming headset it's pretty much like the H9i but this has a USB dongle and is capable of playing games with a low latency so in terms of features this headset just has that little extra uh, in terms of noise cancellation this headset is probably a little bit better I'm not quite sure and yeah so we have the last headset which is the H95 headset which is a lot more expensive than the portal and the other headsets this is the headset that looks the most premium and also the headset that sounds the best and has the best noise cancellation it also comes with a metal case box so Pretty much all around, this is the most premium headset with a metal finish. And the only place where this lacks is not having that USB dongle as the Beoplay portal that makes you able to play games. But again, if you don't care about gaming, maybe the Beoplay portal is not very interesting for you and then your choices are well a very premium headset somewhere in between or the more economic solution where you get great sound but in a wired uh, in a wired configuration if I today, with all the experience I have now with 
this these four headsets i would just buy the beoplay portal because this is the headset that does also that gaming that i don't get uh, i don't get wireless low latency gaming on the other headsets so yeah for me personally the beoplay portal if i were only like a music listener i would probably have gotten the h95 so yeah well because once you listen to these it's hard to like downgrade because you like you know that it can get better and yeah it's just um but uh, there's nothing wrong with the other uh, headsets really all bang and olds and products they sound great there's not a headset that i can complain about or say that don't buy these or anything like that because i like them all i like the design and i like the sound it's just sometimes you just get a little more like clarity in the sound more dynamics more bass uh, more features and you know um it's in the details uh, the upgrades are in the details of the headsets so that there's no going wrong with getting a wired set or h9i or hx or portal or whatever so just go for it whatever you believe in what is your favorite bang and olufsen headset let us know in the comments and in general what is your favorite headphones uh, other than bang and olufsen just let us know so people can get a little more um a little more knowledge about this topic and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys bye